What's up everyone? So uh, today I thought I'd do something different, you know, just try, because I, I typically talk about movies and sports and sit in my room or record my uh, voice talking about this stuff, but I decided I'll do something different today and just kind of go into my personal life in a bit, you know. I'm a mechanical engineering student, uh, so I just thought I'd show you guys, you know, how it is in the life of a mechanical engineering student, what my typical day goes like, you know, how it starts. Um, so I just woke up today, it was like 8, 8 o'clock, you know, it's like 9, about to be 9.30 here. Uh, usually my class starts around 11 on today, so uh, yeah. But um, I'm going to take you all on that and hopefully you guys will enjoy. So uh, I'm heading to my car right now, about to leave for uh, class. First class is at 11. So yeah, it's like a five minute drive from here to campus. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, I mean, those of you who've been following me for a long time, you know, I'm an Alabama fan. So, uh, but I don't go to the University of Alabama. I actually go to Auburn University, which is kind of contradictory because Alabama and Auburn are really big rivals. And it'd be like, why are you, you going to, you know, your rival school, you know? Because I'm from Auburn. So, uh, and the whole apply, I, my, one of my choices was to go to Alabama, but, um, short story, uh, it didn't work out. I'm here going to Auburn University. Nothing against Auburn's, uh, education and whatnot. They have a good engineering program. That's one of the main reasons why I'm here, but yeah, um, so let's go. So I just parked, um, I'm about to start walking. It's like five minute walk to my first class not that far it's not that bad of a walk here since today is a, a Thursday Tuesdays and Thursdays have are like the same classes Monday Wednesday and Friday are the other classes so like Tuesdays and Thursdays classes are slightly longer I only have two classes today uh, my first class I'm going to is a uh, nutrition something like that it's a it's supposed to be one of those easy a classes but um it's it's not an easy class it, it, it's not the one of those easy classes it's probably it's got a lot of trouble with it my second class i have today um systems that's an actual mechanical engineering class like a senior class it's probably the hardest class i've taken um struggle is real honestly for a if you're a mechanical engineering student at auburn university it's super tough like it's one of the hardest majors here and the biggest major at the same time but uh yeah it's every class has its struggles one thing i have to say about auburn you know growing up here it is one of the reasons why because I was um, growing up okay so here football is like religion here it's college football especially and every day I'd go to class and be like everyone's Auburn fans every first of all so me growing up I was always like the opposite guy I would always do the opposite I would always want to be like ah they all go for that team so I'm gonna go for this team and that's how I always started going for Alabama this was before Nick Saban came and I just was always they were bad Alabama then, so I was like, I don't care, I'm just going for them because, you know, I'm tired, I don't want to go for Auburn because that's, that's just the way, I just, I'm just that type of guy to always go for the opposing team. And that's just the way it's been ever since. I'm walking to our new and our engineering building.
So I'm on my way back, uh, finally done with classes. Thursday classes suck, because they're an hour and 15 minutes long. Monday, Wednesday, Friday classes are better because they're only 50 minutes long. But yeah. Heading back home. Uh, five, 10 minute walk, because the building's farther here on campus. I gotta say quickly though, Auburn, Auburn University, you know, as much as me, you know, I've never been a fan of Auburn because I've lived here my whole life, you know, it's kind of gets annoying kind of just seeing the same thing for the past 20 years. So, but I will say the campus is really nice. Like, I'm not joking. You've seen, I've seen like one, of, it's all these SEC schools all have like nice campuses, regardless of whether you think the school's like a good school or not. I mean, they all have to be nice anyway because they're all like sports schools, you know, like Auburn, Alabama, LSU, Texas a all these schools, they're all like super nice campuses for recruiting reasons. You know, you have to have it that way. <sighs> yeah. This is a typical day, Thursday for me as a mechanical engineering student. But I would say if you do want to do engineering, you know, you should and you should uh, come to Auburn if you're not from Auburn. No. I still would say go to Alabama. You have more fun probably there because Auburn, it's, it's, it's so tough here. It's so tough. So I just got back in my car. Um, this is typically how it goes. Usually though, I didn't get to show much footage of it, but I'm always on, um, I stay in on campus a lot longer. And then uh, I had like an hour, an hour and a half between uh, my two classes. So at that time, usually I would study or work on something. You now I was, I got some, <laughs> you know, it's hard to get footage of that stuff. Uh, me. Uh, doing it it's kind of boring you don't want to see me just looking at my calculator and staring at my computer and then writing stuff down it's you know that that's typically what engineers do um lots of engineering paper by the way but uh yeah but yeah I'm about to go and uh grab some pizza from home have not eaten lunch absolutely starving my stomach has been growling you know <laughs> it's three o'clock right now so yeah let's go do that so i just reached home about to go inside and get my pizza. <laughs> Got some CC's pizza leftovers. Sort of been saving it for lunch over the week. I mean, as a college student, by the way, you are going to want to just save food and get free food, or whatever is possible, because you know, money is really tough to go buy for as a college student. Pizza, 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 pizza. All right, so uh, I'm gonna show you guys one of the homework assignments that we have to do for one of my class systems. Uh, it's a senior um, 
mechanical engineering senior class, or you typically you take it as a senior, but people take it as their junior. And it's also one of those classes where, you know, um, people drop out, people fail it, people retake it, because it's such a hard class. But, um, so yeah, this is what the homework that we typically do. Like an assignment, part of it was due on, uh, on the 29th. And so it's all, you know, those problems right here from the textbook and then some are from, you know, that they give us, I don't know how they make, they make them up or not. But uh, yeah, I mean, just an example, this is one of our problems, solve the following differential equations and stuff, you know, it's, it's hard as hell. But um, if you're gonna differential equations, you know, you're gonna use it as a mechanical engineer while you're in college. 99% of the stuff that you learn in college though, you won't be using um, <laughs> once you leave. But yeah, this is like what we're doing, what's due next class that we're supposed to do. So I'll just show you. So like, this is uh, the textbook right here. And so, what was the problem that we were supposed to do? So, chapter three, problem five. So, I've got that pulled up. So, chapter three, problem five. So, a particle of mass... This is a particle of mass m slides down a frictionless ramp. Yada 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 yada. And that's what that's like an example of the problem we'd be doing. Um, remember, these are all senior level courses. So if you are a mechanical engineer and you're watching this right now, a lot of these are all senior level stuff. So don't freak out right now. Um, you can freak out later, like me. Uh, it, it's it's just a lot of practice problems, honestly. Because like here, uh, we don't they don't even take the homework up. You know, it's honestly it's up to you. But definitely recommend you do the homework uh, because you will struggle like crazy. But uh, yeah, and also one thing, <laughs> this is also what you need as what I always use on a typical day. I always use Chegg. This is gonna be your best friend throughout life. I This is the best money you will ever spend using Chegg. Literally just saves me as an stu engineering student. You can ask literally any engineering student Chegg, they either have Chegg or they have a friend that has Chegg and that's how they use it to get the answers to um, homework problems to show them step by step because like a lot of the professors they just give you okay after the homework's due and you know you're wondering how you know what was I supposed to do in that problem how did it work out because a lot of the time the professors don't care they're just like yo I don't want uh, I don't have time y'all can go look at solutions and the solutions don't show how they got to that final answer and Chegg shows you all that and it's just literally a lifesaver but yeah and so like now I'm probably, I'm gonna start doing the homework and finishing that up. Um, and then I'm gonna go to work later. But honestly, it's that's literally typical most of the day in terms of classes for an engineer. Usually you go to class, like me, you go to class. When you have a break, you do usually your homework and stuff. If you're not in studying, you know, you're rarely gonna have free time. At least at Auburn University, you rarely have any free time. But then you go, and then you come home, or you stay, usually typically I stay on campus. I just came home for, you know, because it's been a long day. And uh, you do the homework and then you study for your other classes. Because remember, I got five, I'm taking five classes. You know, these are only two classes on today, but um, typically I'll have other stuff to do. And also that's the beginning of the semester. So that's a plus. Beginning of the semester is the best time to have all the fun in the world. Um, freshman year is typically the best year to have all the fun you want. And then once the your sophomore year, end of sophomore year, junior year, that's grind time. That's when that's when shit gets real. And that's when you have to start putting in the 130% effort. <laughs> that's when you start pulling up the all-nighters and not getting enough sleep. But yeah. Oh, so much homework though. <laughs> All right, uh, finished my work and I'm about to, or finish my homework, I'm about to head off to work. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Ugh. I work for the university's uh, campus recreation, so like intramural sports, flag football, all that, you know, sort of stuff that uh, sororities, fraternities, you know, trying to live uh, the glory days, you know, you know what I mean? A lot of those football players are out there to go and um, relive those uh, those old Friday night lights. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much I think my day. Once I come back from this, and then it's usually screwing around watching some sort of a TV show or something, and then heading off to bed. But yeah, yeah. So I just got back from work. Uh, it was only a couple of hours. Um, it's pretty late. Um, so yeah, that's typically my day, 
as a mechanical engineer. Um, I'm a junior by hours, but this is my fourth year. I'm going a lot slower because it's just, there's a certain point where if you're an engineer, you've already taken it, you know what I mean? Um, but that the classes are super tough that you'd only want to take two or three like mechanical classes and then take just like super easy classes. But yeah, the typical day, obviously on a late in the semester will be much more different because it'll be a lot more harder and part more hardcore because it's still the first couple of weeks of the semester coming back. But that's just a typical day for mechanical engineer. You know, go in, walk to your classes, listen. It's just a bunch of math and physics, a lot of and a lot of outside work. Um, if you want to do well and be like, if you want to do well as a mechanical engineer and get the degree, you know, not switch majors and whatnot, you just have to put the work ethic in. You just have to put the hours in the study and do what and manage your time properly. Because I know a lot of people, me including myself, you know, we want to have fun on the weekends. Believe me, I, <laughs> you go to college, you know what I mean. Uh, so it's just about during that for the five days during the week, put in all the work and then, you know, take off on the weekend, you know, Sunday evening, go right back at it and start grinding. But uh, that's typically how I go. You know, definitely mechanical engineers at like Georgia Tech, MIT, Stanford, I don't know, even Alabama, Texas A&M, Michigan, all these other schools, they're gonna do it differently, different for every school. But that's just the typical day for me um, at Auburn University. But anyway, guys, uh, that's the video. Let me know your thoughts down below um, with what, it, what you think, you know, about, you know, engineering or if you're, you know, just whatever your thoughts, just drop them down below. Let me know what you think. I'll comment on them. And if you have any questions about engineering in general too, because I mean, I know a lot about it. Surprisingly, I feel like I don't know anything. I feel like I just started college the other day, but you know, it's been four, I'm in my fourth year. So time flies, but let me know your thoughts down below. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. If you're new and join my channel, I make sure you ring the bell for notifications. Otherwise you won't be notified when I post a video. And make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Those links are down below. And until next time, guys, be amazing.